G'day guys, welcome to Bobby's pre-match preview. I've got the head coach who's hard man to track down. Uh, we've got uh, coming up against the heat of the Gabba. Are you nervous? Uh, no, not nervous at all, I think. It's a change? Yeah, it absolutely is. 5-0, uh, boys playing good cricket and more importantly for us, we're testing our depth. You'll be a part of that. Marcus Thornis and others will come into the side and, and get an opportunity to play in this great competition. I'm seeing this game as a, a massive test for us purely because I think the Heat play the Gabba, their own ground, very, very well. So um, how do you think we're going to combat them? Yeah, look, I think uh, you might be forgetting the Hodge and Hussey factor. I think both of those guys have played there very well in the past. And I think the last time you might have had a bat up there, it was uh, 70, 80 or 90 something. I've got, I got 90 not out, fatigued. I got fatigued out. I thought you might know how many you got <laughs> in that, that inning. So, look, I'm really confident with our batting group and our bowlers have been terrific. Lassith uh, is really coming into his own the last couple of outings. Uh, Birdie continues to do good stuff and the debut for the stars of James Muirhead was, was a terrific one to see. So it was awesome, wasn't it? It was awesome. Uh, Lukey Wright showed some really uh, you know, fantastic grit uh, and some quality stroke play. So I hope the Poms don't pinch him from us. Yeah, let's hope so he stays with us. But it would be, as you said, a, a nice thing for him if he, if he were to go up in the national colours. But... Being on the sidelines, FIFA, it's been hard to uh, to see you at times because you are actually a very hard man to please. And, and anyone would think that at five nil, that you know, she could have his feet on the on the esky and, and even just walking away. But very hard man to please. He's still trying to find the perfect game. Was tonight the perfect game? Well, I think we've had two or three perfect games, which is a credit to the team. Uh, the job's not done. You know, Bobby. Never we, is, is it? We wanted a home final, and uh, we can't say that we've got that yet and we want to qualify for Champions League. So when that happens, uh, you'll see a massive big smile. <laughs> now speaking of, you've been around the 2020 traps for a long time. Uh, you trying to get me an IPL both, gig. Nah, well, speaking of, you did have an IPL gig um, and you've been with the Stars for a couple of years now and, and you're successful with Victoria. How would you have gone personally as a batter in the, in the T20 form of cricket? I think there would have been an amazing amount of ramping going on, <laughs> sort of once they take the slips out over the keeper's head is probably the, my go-to shot. So if they put two points, a third man and a deep point? Then I would have had to run at the bo at the bowling and go for mid-wicket. I think they are my two strong scoring areas. But you would have had a good solid game and you'd bat the full 20 overs? Or whip it between the wickets, Bobby. <laughs> now, you, you, you touched on him before, Thief. Um, Brad Hodge keeps getting better and better. Um, tonight wasn't even required. I don't know, can he still play in Australia? Are they going to pick him? What's going on there? Absolutely, he can still play. Uh, the Australian selectors have been really consistent on picking form players and they showed with their selection of Hogg uh, in a recent uh, T20 series that they're fair dinkum about backing up uh, their, their words at press conferences. So Brad Hodge, Cameron White uh, and a number of our players uh, that I've been reporting on for the Australian selectors are our chances. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, and, and fingers crossed for him, he does get that chance. He's playing in the Prime Minister's 11, is that right? Yeah, I'm not sure about uh, 50 overs for Hodgie. I think 20 is <laughs> about his cup of tea at the yeah. moment, but he assures me he's been doing some extra running and uh, <laughs> and he's going to put on a, on a show for us. Uh, that'll be good to see. Now, Fief, thanks for having me, mate. Hope we do very, very well up in Brizzy. Um, we take on the heat. Six nil would be awesome. And I've penciled myself in for 10 not out, uh, hitting the winning runs. Sounds a great plan, Bobby. That's Bobby's pre-match preview brought to you by Mitsubishi Motors. See you later.